what's up guys welcome to another video today we're inside a place that i love to film i love abandoned houses abandoned mansions homes anywhere that people are that once lived inside of i think those places are the very best um there's nothing like walking literally back in time and this house is that exact way it's like walking exactly back in time um, we don't know too much about the house we had photographer friends find out about this location and they were kind enough to give it uh, our way so now here we are we're gonna look around the house uh, maybe for clues I saw a calendar that said 1974 um, and by the way this house looks I wouldn't doubt that it was left um, that year but we're gonna check it out if you enjoy leave a thumbs up and let's go this has to be one of the oldest TVs I've ever seen. I don't even see a brand on it. Usually old TVs like this. There's a brand that sticks out, but I don't see any. If anybody recognizes it, throw a comment down below and let me know. There's even games still left behind. At the moment, I can't think of what this game is called, but I've seen it so much. It's, it's, it's an old game, I know that too. It's just not coming to my head. I'm sure everyone in the comments will roast me. Anything in that room? Yeah, a lot. Oh, wow. It's an old picture. Yeah, it's really cool. Is there anything on the back? No. Nothing. So this must have been, I guess, an office. Somebody loved birds. Okay, leaving the living room and the, I guess, office. We have a pair of overalls just chilling here. Still on the, uh, on the rack. Honestly, look kind of new and recent. Wow. This piano is huge. Gallenberg and Vopel, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Okay, looks like we're heading into the kitchen. Wow, that's something I've never seen actually in person. And I'm surprised. This is a coal furnace, maybe wood. It says duo therms, maybe that implicates it was both. <laughs> what the heck? I don't even wanna know what that is, I'm not even getting close. For the most part, Everything's kind of still here. Things are tossed and turned, but... Still got some, looks like coffee in the shelf. Sovereign, vacuum packed. I love seeing the old logos. I feel like they used to, they used to package things so much better a long time ago. Wow, 
Wow, this must have been like their storage closet. There's like no room to walk or anything, so... This is probably the best view we're gonna get of everything in here. I haven't even seen like half of this house and this is already like one of my favorite houses I've ever been to. We have an old lantern here and some medicine or just some cleaning products maybe. Okay, we're gonna go across the hall now. And this maybe was the master bedroom. Wow. We just have a bunch of stuff thrown around and pictures everywhere. I thought this maybe was a master bedroom, but it honestly looks like a woman was living here, at least in this room. But we do have some makeup and stuff. Or nail polish and stuff like that. Probably was like a little guest bed or something. Oh, there's another hallway right there. It's the attic. So these look like kids' rooms to me. These are, you know, much tinier. Much smaller beds. It definitely was a, a little girl's room because we have little baby's clothes still hanging up. I wonder what happened here to make everyone vanish because this is so odd. Here we go, you could see the cobwebs, you can see the paint chips <laughs> that fell into them actually just floating. This place has been sitting here for, I'm gonna guess and say probably from when the dates say, but it's, it's, it's a miracle that it has stayed the way it has. That's the way down. Oh, this is like a sewing room. But this is probably as far as I can go. Very cool though. Take a look in the bathroom. Okay, just your prototypical bathroom, but the little soap dish is, is unique. It's cool. Look at this, you still have your toothbrush. Oh, there's another one in there. Oh my god, that Gillette logo is so old.
This is actually right next to the room we were just in. Just stuff all over the place here. Ooh, that looks interesting. There's only one area of this house we didn't explore yet. And that's the attic. Wow, you could really smell the dust up here. Like, look at this chest. Oh my god. This is beautiful. Who knows how old this thing is? Just full of blankets and whatnot. Got a walker right there. This thing's like brand new. And you could tell this is from a super long time ago. No dates or anything. Cool though. Nineteen fifty-eight. Just a bag of newspapers. Or just one bag actually. You know what? This is the bag the newspaper came in in nineteen sixty-eight. Oh my god, that's crazy. I could be in this attic for hours just uncovering old stuff. I didn't look over here yet. for comprehensive control of bronchitis. Oh, it's frozen. Oh, no, it's not. This is one of the most interesting things I've ever found. I looked at this and I immediately thought, what the hell is this? What's, what's dance wax? So I turned around and there's instructions and everything. So basically you just uh, pour this powder on the floor right before you're about to dance and then boom, you could moonwalk like Michael Jackson essentially. It's kind of cheating if you ask me. You could see 1944. And I looked through this briefly, and a lot of the articles here are just about soldiers and World War II. Corporal Rogers killed. So these are just, that's like an obituary for that soldier. This isn't the original copy. But just being able to legislate, legi legibly read it and everything is amazing. Sitting history right here. Nineteen oh two labels. Oh, this is all in great condition. Caring for the sick in the home. Home hygiene and care for the sick. Okay. 
engagements 1942. Wow. Inside this book about caring for the sick, it shows a room and it said an attractive bedroom which can e easily be transformed into a room for a sick person. And honestly, that kind of looks like the bedroom downstairs. Kind of crazy. All right, we uh, have finished exploring this place. At the end of it all is definitely a top, probably five location that we've ever yeah. explored. What do definitely. you think? This absolutely. place was absolutely insane. Literally frozen in time, mm -hmm. 1960s. 1960s, we saw a calendar from 1974. Uh, we don't know, once again, why it was abandoned. I did see a lot of medication. I saw things in the attic that say that there was um, somebody in you know, need and they, it looks like they transformed the upper floor to like a medical wing, sort of, in their last days. Yeah, someone definitely got old, passed away, and didn't have anybody left. And that's what happens here. And that's why we explore so many places. Gotta, gotta preserve exist. this history. Gotta preserve the history before thieves, looters, and straight up demolition teams come by and knock out history one building at a time. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up, like and subscribe, leave a comment. Even if you don't like it, tell us. And we're off to the next bando. Peace!